Ponder this over the majority of the S eats junk food. Hey there, kiddo. Let's talk about something important. Junk food. Imagine junk food as the sneaky villains that can sometimes make our bodies feel not so great. Now, not everyone eats a lot of junk food, but some people do. Junk food is like the superhero name for foods that are high in things like calories, sodium that's like salt, added sugars those sweet things, or saturated fat the not so healthy fat. Picture pizza, burgers, fries, chips, cookies, cakes, ice cream, soda, and energy drinks those are the culprits. Now, let's look at some superhero data. From 2013 to 2016, about 36.6% of grown-ups had fast food on a given day. More younger adults, guys, black adults, and people with more money tended to be big fans. In 2017 to 2018, most junk food came from grocery stores for both kids 72, 7 and grown-ups 77. 1. Other sources, like restaurants and schools, shared some too. The top junk foods were sugary drinks, snacks, sweets, and pizza. In 2017 to 2018, almost 29% of all the calories that the average American ate came from junk food. That's more than in 2001 to 2002 and 2009 2010. Not many people, only 2% in 2017 to 2018, thought fast food was super good for health. But surprisingly, 57% of young adults that's people between 18 and 29 years old ate fast food or other junk food at least once a week. Now, why should we watch out for these sneaky villains? Because too much junk food can make us feel not so good. It can bring some friends like obesity, diabetes, heart problems, and even some types of cancer. So it's a good idea to be a superhero and choose healthier foods like fruits, veggies, whole grains, lean proteins that's the good stuff in meat, low-fat dairy like milk and yogurt, nuts, seeds, and water. Remember, you can learn more about this superhero battle against junk food and its not-so-good effects from cool places that know a lot about health. What is the relationship between the microbiome and junk food? Hey there, curious mind. Let's chat about something fascinating. Our body's tiny superheroes, the microbiome. Imagine it's a bustling city in our tummies, made up of trillions of microbes doing cool things like helping us digest food, making vitamins, and keeping our immune system in check. Now, onto the not-so-superheroes junk food. Picture these as foods that taste yummy but aren't very good for our city of microbes. They're high in things like calories, fat, sugar, salt, and additives, but low on the good stuff like nutrients and fiber. Think fast food, snacks from bags, sweets, soda, and energy drinks. Here's where it gets interesting. Imagine a study where people swap diets some eating like they were in Africa, and others like they were in the West. Those who ate more veggies and less fatty stuff had healthier microbes, like good bacteria, in their tummies, in another study with mice little furry creatures. Those on a high-fat diet got some not-so-friendly microbes, leading to things like obesity and diabetes. Now, meet a brave student who ate only fast food for 10 days. His tummy superhero city lost some good bacteria and got more of the not-so-friendly ones. Even after two weeks of normal food, it didn't fully recover. So, why does this matter? Junk food seems to mess with our microbial city by reducing its diversity like having different kinds of good bacteria, increasing the not-so-friendly bacteria that make trouble, and decreasing the superheroes that protect us from diseases. Now, here's the fun part how can we keep our microbial city happy and healthy? We bring in the superhero foods, fruits and veggies. These are like the builders, providing fiber, antioxidants, and cool stuff that keep our city thriving. Whole grains, they're the fortifiers, offering fiber and nutrients that make our superheroes strong. Legumes, these are the helpers, giving us fiber, protein, and cool stuff that our good bacteria love. Nuts and seeds, meet the defenders, loaded with healthy fats and goodies that protect our tummy city. Fish, they're the explorers, bringing omega-3 fatty acids that keep our microbial world in balance. Fermented foods, 
Here come the peacekeepers, giving us probiotics friendly bacteria that make our city diverse and happy. So, what's the takeaway? Be a superhero for your tummy city by choosing these awesome foods and giving junk food a little break. Your microbial superheroes will thank you for keeping their city cheerful and thriving. Why does junk food taste so good? Hey there buddy, let's talk about why junk food is like a trickster for our taste buds. You see, it's crafted to taste super yummy in a way that makes you want more and more. It's like a flavor party of sweetness, fattiness, and saltiness the kind of taste that make our brains go, wow, that's awesome. Plus, it's quick and easy to get, which makes it seem even more fun than healthier foods that might take a bit more time and effort to make. But here's the thing even though junk food is a taste sensation, it's like a magician's trick with no real nutritional magic. It's full of what we call empty calories, meaning it doesn't give our bodies the good stuff they need to grow strong and healthy. Too much of this magic can lead to things like gaining extra weight and health problems like diabetes, heart issues, and even some types of cancer. So, how can we outsmart the tricky taste of junk food and stay healthy? Here are some cool tips. Be a meal planner. Think ahead and get creative with your meals so you don't have to rely on fast food or snacks when you're hungry or in a hurry. Snack smart. Pack your own snacks, like nuts, dried fruits, granola bars, or yogurt. Keep them in your bag, car, or at the office for when you need a tasty pick-me-up. Veggie power. If you do stop at a fast food place, go for veggie-packed meals like salads, wraps, or grilled chicken sandwiches. Say no to supersized portions, sugary drinks and fried stuff. Hydrate. Hydrate. Drink lots of water throughout the day to stay refreshed and keep those hunger pangs at bay. Sometimes our bodies get thirsty, and we mistake it for hunger. Treat yourself smartly. It's okay to enjoy a small bit of your favorite junk food every now and then. Just don't make it a regular thing. Enjoy it slowly and savor every delicious bite. Remember, you're the boss of what you eat. And making good choices helps you grow into a strong and happy superhero. How does junk food affect my brain? Hey there, awesome friend. Let's talk about junk food and how it can do some tricky things to your brain. Imagine your brain like a superhero that needs to stay strong and healthy. Super feel-good chemicals. Junk food can make your brain release something called dopamine. It's like a feel-good chemical. It makes you happy. But here's the tricky part. The more junk food you eat, the more you need to get that happy feeling. It's like a superhero losing its powers over time, and you might end up eating too much and wanting more. Tricky temptations. Junk food is like a sneaky magician that grabs your attention and makes you want it more than healthy food. Especially for kids, because your brains are still growing and learning. Eating lots of sugar when you're young might make it harder to make good decisions later. Brain inflammation. Junk food has a lot of sugars and fats that can make your brain a bit upset. It's like a little fire that can damage the brain cells that help you learn, remember things, and control your feelings. There's a part called the hippocampus that helps you feel full, remember stuff, and manage your emotions. Junk food might not be its best friend, thinking superpowers. Eating too much junk food might make it harder for your brain to think clearly, learn new things, and remember stuff. Some superhero scientists found that just five days of lots of junk food can mess with how well adults can think. Imagine what happens if it's eight years it might make it tougher for middle-aged people too. Mood and mind connection. Junk food isn't the best sidekick for your mood. Too much can make you feel tired, grumpy, worried, and even a bit sad. It might also make you feel less sure about yourself. Some superhero studies even say eating lots of junk food could be linked to feeling really down and anxious. So, what's the superhero lesson here? Eating more of the good stuff like fruits, veggies and yummy things that make your brain happy is the way to go. Your brain will be the superhero it's meant to be, strong, smart, and ready for any adventure. The junk food industry spends billions of dollars a year in making their foods testier. That's an interesting statement. According to various sources, the junk food industry spends a lot of money on packaging, advertising, processing, and additives to make their foods more appealing and profitable. For example, one source claims that for each dollar spent on junk food, 
only 10 cents is for the actual food in the product one. Another source estimates that the fast food industry spends more than $5 million every day marketing unhealthy foods to children too. A third source reports that the junk food industry once spent $40 billion to lobby the US government to stop from passing comprehensive industry reforms that would decrease the marketing of unhealthy foods. 3. These statistics suggest that the junk food industry is very invested in making their foods tastier and more attractive to consumers, regardless of the health consequences.